let's come to the concept of thermal resistance now this is somewhat analogous to electrical resistance okay for example you have an electrical circuit like this these are the positive and negative terminals and this is the resistance that you have the current flows from positive terminal goes through the resistance and comes back to the negative term terminal this is how the current flows through the circuit that is due to the presence of a potential difference this potential difference is actually making the current flow through this resistance isn't it now if you have a thermal circuit that is a a network in which there is a temperature difference so due to that delta t that is a temperature difference what is flowing heat is flowing okay so this is the quantity which provides flow so this is the potential you can say this is the potential which provides the drive to flow which actually drives the flow and the quantity which flows is this q which is called as or which is termed as heat so if you put it analogous to the electrical circuit okay the thing which makes the flow to happen is called your potential difference in electrical circuit but the thing the same thing in the thermal circuit will become your temperature difference okay due to this potential difference in the electrical circuit there is a current flow so the quantity which flows is your current okay but in a thermal circuit the quantity that flows due to the potential difference that is temperature difference is your heat okay now if you invoke ohm's law for electrical circuit okay that is v is equal to i into r from here you can get r is equal to v upon i okay this means this is something like the potential difference the potential that makes the flow to happen divided by the quantity that flows okay now if you put it in uh, a thermal circuit the thermal resistance can be written as r parenthesis th the potential that makes the flow happen is delta t and the thing that flows is q so this is your thermal resistance if you want to find out the flow which is taking place q can be found out to be delta t divided by rth so rth is the thermal resistance of the material that is the resistance offered by the material to the flow of heat okay now thermal resistance for a plain wall the value for this is l that is the thickness of the wall divided by conductivity into the area perpendicular to the flow of heat so this is the value of thermal conduct uh, thermal resistance for a plain wall okay now this means this there are some points to be noted for this property that we call thermal resistance okay now thermal resistance is basically a property which depends upon the geometry okay and it depends upon geometry and thermal properties of the material so these are the two factors on which the value of thermal resistance will depend upon for a particular material that is the geometry of the body in question and the thermal properties of the material 
which makes up that body okay so this is the concept of uh, thermal resistance now as the concept of thermal resistor uh, the electrical resistance is concerned that is uh, resistances are combined in series and they are combined in parallel as well so similarly we can combine thermal circuits also in series and parallel okay now before we go on to that let us look at the heat transfer equation for a process of convection okay so for convection the heat transfer equation was q is equal to h into as into ts minus t infinity isn't it where this was your heat transfer rate this is your convective heat transfer coefficient